Hey guys, welcome to the BD Theme widget tutorial. Today we'll introduce you to the Elysium slider widget by Prime Slider add-on for Elementor. Elysium is a creative slider widget that packs an amusing navigation interface with animation and animated slides over a colorful background partition. With a big screen in the middle and some revealing parts of the next and previous slides on both sides, Elysium introduces a new way to create thumbs and make them into a slider for more aesthetics. Not only do the image and text have animations, but also the navigation controls have active arrowhead animation to make them more visually appealing to your visitors. There are two demonstrations we prepared for this slider widget. The more you explore, the more diverse designs you can create using the Elysium widget. Alright, uh, let's take a look at the backend customizations and get started. The widget is already dragged inside the editor. Right now you are seeing the default appearance of the widget. On your left, you will find the layout controls as the first set of options to customize the slider. You can adjust the total image height for the slider using the image height scroll bar. The other option gives you the control to change the height of the whole slider interface and a bunch of switches to show or hide some of the slide element like title, text, navigation, etc. The next section is called sliders where you'll find all the slider items or slides listed. You can actually add more by clicking the add item button or remove items by clicking the close button on the item boxes. Now click on the first item box to customize the individual slides. Here you will see a bunch of fields. First, let's change the title of the slide. Then we can add a title link and description text. Click on the image field to select the slider image for the first slide. It's set and now you can take a look at that. Tap on the navigation. Quite similarly, you can do the rest two slides. All three looks great. Next, you can modify the slider animation settings like autoplay, play speed, the number of slides to scroll at a time, and other things. We're going to leave this part to you so you can customize the animations per your needs. All the options are named as the function, so no need to get confused. Now let's move to the style tab where we can throw colors and borders at our slider to change its appearance. From the slider section on top, let's pick a gradient background behind the images for the slider. You can play with the color controls like location, type, or angle to make a variety of backgrounds. Next, we can jump into the title section and start customizing the text font. Before that, change the text color to white. Then click on the typography option and now shuffle the font styles. You can go for custom font size, letter weight, and so on here. Once done, fold this section and move next to the text section and again, you can go for the typography. While the text color suits the images, let's change the font. Then go to the navigation section and let's first change the arrowhead color to something bright and different. Let us make the hover color white. Next comes the typography. You can try matching it with others. Also the dots navigation is customizable so you can change the color, height width and border for normal and hover modes. Zero the border radius to make the edges sharp. When done, you can turn back the autoplay and your slider is ready to decorate your landing page. Make sure to take full advantage of the Elysium slider. Thank you for watching this tutorial, please like, share and subscribe to our channel to receive updates about the upcoming tutorial videos. Stay safe and see you next time.